nigga, that's right on my alley. Right on my alley. That's right on my alley. That's right on my alley. That's right on my alley. I just got the alley. Yeah. He called for the alley. I threw on the alley. I throw on the alley. That's right on my alley. That's right on my alley. I jig in the alley, they call for the baggy, I'm serving that salad. It's coming from Cali, he call for the alley, I throw in the alley. My life is expensive, I pull up in bed. You ready? Uh, yeah, we live. What's uh, up? What's Sally up? TV, man. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, you know what it is, it's Chad, Black Entertainment. Yeah, real recognized, real. I yeah. ran into you yesterday, seen you in the lobby. How about you now? Up close and personal, I didn't been friends with you on social media since like the MySpace era. I finally right. get a chance to right. meet you in person and no shit. Doubt. You know? What's what's been going on with the Black Hand brand? You know, we still there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we just doing other things aside from music. And now music what we do is basically do we do music management. You know, um you know, we try to transition, you know, into film. You know, we always been the independent, right? And what happened, you know, what's happening now with music as I see it is that it's becoming a more independent movement, you know what I mean? But that's what we've been all the time. So I mean I'm basically used to that part, you know, but you know the the, the atmosphere of music has totally changed. Right. You know, and you know, it has its good size and its bad size, you know, because a lot of music is getting out there free. Yeah. However, you know, and that's bad for the artists, so to speak, when, and for those who, you know, manage it. When you say the music has somewhat uh, changed, are you, are you uh, referring to like they ain't really buying gangster rap like they used to? Well, well, you know, I think they still have, that's still a fan base, but I think predominantly, it's, yeah, it's still, I mean, some of the stuff is still gangster that I hear, right. you know what I'm saying, but, um, I'm talking about the landscape has changed of the platforms in which to get which to get it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's a lot easier for independent artists to promote themselves over social media. Okay. You know, that's what I'm talking about, basically. You know? And uh, I think that the South, you know, has a, a super edge on that because when they couldn't walk to a label, when all the labels were up north in New York, they had to do that grind. They had right. to get themselves made. So they kind of, you know, excel in, you know, self-branding, you know, throughout the southern states. So I think that gives them that that is that they got now and they, they run it with. Speaking of self-branding, give me um Drop some pointers on the youth. What would you uh, advise them to do if they was trying to go for self out here? Oh, well, one thing, you know, you just got to have real, real confidence. And it's no, you know, overnight success takes a long time. You know what I'm saying? Overnight success ends in instantly. You know, what you see is that these guys that you see as being successful have grinded. And I think that they just have to have that resilience and that commitment to what they do and really believe in themselves no matter what they hear and keep going. Because at the moment that they get ready to give up, might be the moment that they're getting ready to get on. So I was um, at, at, at a point in time, you managed 50 Cent, you was 50 Cent manager, right? Yeah, I was like co-manager, whatever you want to call it. Have you ever, I know the history, mm -hmm. have you ever since then, have y'all ever ran into each other, said anything to each other? Not, we, we've crossed each other's path, but not really on no talking basis. You know, we've been in the same areas a couple of times, you know. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, he's from Southside, so when somebody passes in Southside, we may pass each other at a funeral, you know. Same you know. funerals Yeah, and yeah, same things thing like that. that you know, that's so. real. Mm -hmm. um, what brings you to, what brought you to Florida to this convention this weekend? What did you come to get out of this? Well, I was here last year, and basically last year I came for like one or two days just to sample it to see what was going on. And I, at the time, I, you know, uh, uh, I saw that it was, kind of reminded me of the old music conferences back with Jack the Rapper and that right. kind of thing. I've been hearing that a lot. Yeah, it was, it was, it was more, you know, educational and, uh, you know, a little more mature. It wasn't just about the parties, you know. I think that the, you know, some of the other conferences had got into, you know, being educational but more leaning to, you know, the, the, the partying side. So, I, you know, I think they had some good speakers last year. I think they have some excellent speakers this year, right. and I think you know this is a good uh, situation for them. I asked you a few minutes ago, out of all of the, because uh, I'm real familiar with mm -hmm. the DVD history and shit, right. out of all of the artists that you had over there at Black Hand, Prince seemed to be like one of the standout guys, and I wanted to ask you, whatever happened to him, mm -hmm. what happened to him, what happened? Um, Prince, I think that, that you know, uh, he's, still, he's still around, I think that, uh, one of the things that, that I'm talking about is that, that that discouragement that you get when it doesn't 
happen to you right away. Right. You know, and he was very skilled. He had a lot of skills. You know, he was, you know, basically buzzing. Right. You know, he was buzzing crazy in New York on the underground. And, um, you know, I think he just got, you know, sidetracked with like some other issues in his life, like with his family, with his son and stuff like that. And it kind of took him away from music to try to deal with his son. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just think you got, you got to also be consistent. You know, right. when you're doing this, you know, once you get once you get that bug, you know, it's hard to get it back. You know what I'm saying? When you can't take off, it's no days off in this. You know what I'm saying? It's all work, no breaks. I'm a G. I'm a motherfucking G. Yeah, I'm talking murder, but it's me. But it's me. I'm really living everything you see. That's what you say? They allow to make a lie out of me. To the day that I expire, I'm a G. I'm a motherfucking G. They would love to make a lie out of. Catch him out dark with the lane.